Hey there, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can yield farm on PancakeSwap, which uses Binance's smart chain. So by yield farming, you can earn a potential 300% just as you can see here. So if you've ever yield farmed before on Uniswap, it's kind of similar to how it is here on PancakeSwap. But if you're not sure how that's done, I'm going to show you in this video. Now, this video here is going to be a little bit longer because there are a lot of steps involved. So please bear with me. I'll leave some timestamps down below just so you can switch over to the parts that you'd like to see just because this will be a longer video. But having said that, let's get started. So the very first thing that you're going to need to do is to set up a MetaMask wallet. Now, in order to do that, you, you would have to go to their website, Meta metamask.io and so right now here is their website right so this is metamask.io and then what you would want to do is you'll want to go here to download so when you go to download it'll say oh you can consult for these supported browsers or these devices over here so i obviously am doing this on my computer so i want it for my browser right now so i'm going to do it for chrome so i'm going to click install metamask for chrome now personally I've already installed it, so that's why it says remove from Brave, but I've already installed it and I've already set up a wallet and all that stuff, but that's something that you're going to have to do yourself. You're going to have to, number one, set up a MetaMask wallet. Make sure you back up that seed phrase that comes with it, and then once you have all of that done, we will go on to step number two. Okay, so now that you've installed MetaMask on your browser, you should now see one of these extensions over here. Now, after you've set up your MetaMask wallet and entered your password, you should see something that looks like this over here. Now, what you're going to want to do now is you now need to add in the Binance Smart Chain network, right? So if you click down here, you're not going to see this over here. Now, I've already done it, so that's why I see it here, but you will need to input the Binance Smart Chain network over here. Only then can we then access Pancake Swap. So what I'm going to do is there is a guide over here that Binance released, and I will share this link down below. But basically what you'll want to do is it gives you all of the instructions that I've just kind of talked about before with setting up MetaMask over here, right? So what you'll want to do is kind of come down a little bit down, and then this is the information that you will need. You will need the mainnet RPC URLs, all of this stuff over here. So I'm going to click on this here and I'm going to need this one over here. So this again goes back into when I go into MetaMask, I'm going to go over here, hover over Ethereum mainnet, and then I'm going to go click on custom RPC. So once I click on custom RPC, I'll then have to enter the network name as Binance, right? Just like that. And then the RPC URL is this one over here. So I just used their recommended one. Now, one of the annoying things about this is every time you click out of MetaMask, it, you know, it brings you out of it. So you're just going to have to have this information on the side. So what I'm going to do then is just kind of show you what goes into where okay so the network name would be binance the new rpc url would be this one over here right now it's saying the url is already present because i've already done this before so that's what you'll want to enter in and then the chain id is 56 and then the symbol is bnb just as it, I've entered in before. And then the block explorer is right over here. All of this information can be found on the previous page. The only thing that you'll need over here is this URL. So you can find all of this information on the previous page and the network name is Binance. So I'll just maybe let you take a look over here. This is what you will need again. This will be for the RPC, but if you go back here, all of the other information for mainnet is over here on this page. And so once you've added that in, you'll then be able to see Binance over here. So right now it's on the Ethereum mainnet. You'll then need to switch it off to the Binance mainnet. So example, if I click over here, it'll say zero BNB, but if I go back and I click on 
uh, the Ethereum, it'll say zero Ethereum. But because PancakeSwap uses BNB or Binance's smart chain, you will then need to switch the network onto Binance's smart chain. And I'm going to show you as an example of how that will work or won't work depending on which network you are on. So if I go to PancakeSwap, it's going to show you that you would need to switch over the network. So for example, if I go over here to unlock wallet, if I click that, if I click MetaMask, it will work because right now I am on Binance's smart chain. But if I were to switch this over here by clicking here and then going to Ethereum mainnet, it will automatically disconnect me. And if I go click on unlock wallet and click on MetaMask, nothing will work. So you need to make sure that you are on the Binance's smart chain in order for this to work. So now, as you can see, it automatically unlocks. So now that you finished the second step, which is to set up the MetaMask wallet over here in terms of getting the account set up with Binance or getting Binance smart chain onto MetaMask, we can then go on to the third step, which is then actually depositing some BNB onto your address. Now, what you need to do then is on your MetaMask account, it'll give you an address over here and you will then need to send some BNB over to whichever address that you have. Now, what you can do is you can just click copy to your clipboard and then send some BNB over here. So when you are sending BNB from Binance to this wallet, what you will want to do is you will want to use Binance's smart chain when you withdraw. Do not withdraw using BEP2. No, it has to be BEP20, which is Binance's smart chain. And so this is the third step, which is actually depositing some BNB onto your MetaMask wallet. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so now that I have the BNB over here, I'm going to click on MetaMask. And as you can see, I've got one BNB over here. So now that we've got the BNB, we can now start yield farming. So what I'm going to do is then go over here to trade or hover over trade and then I'm going to click on exchange. So the reason why I am clicking on exchange is because I first need to add BNB and some other coin. So with liquidity pools, you can't add just one coin. You have to add in another coin as well. So for myself, I was adding cake and BNB, which is an exchange or liquidity pair. Now, if you're not sure which one you want to do, you can always go over here to farm and you can take a look at which pairs they have. But for myself, I am doing cake dash BNB. And so they have other sort of options over here. So if you take a look, that's what they've got. And so what I'm then going to do is I'm going to go back. So I'm going to go to exchange. And so now that I'm back here on the exchange page, I will then need to select a currency that I would like to exchange some BNB for. So I am going to do cake. All right. And there we go. So now for myself, I need to decide what is a good 50 50 split. And I also need to leave some BNB to pay for the minor fees. So for myself, just because this is an example, I am going to, uh, let's just say do 50 right in here. And then that is how much BNB that it will use or exchange, which is about 50%. But it will also give me some room for some exchange fees or to pay for the exchange fees or minor fees should they come up. In fact, I'm actually going to do a little bit less just because I think there we go, just in case. Right, so I'll, I'll do 45 cake and uh, exchange this much and then I'm going to click on swap, right? So if I click on swap, it'll then ask me to confirm and I will click confirm and then it'll ask me to validate this transaction over here. So then I will then say, yes, I am okay with that. I'm going to click confirm. So then confirm, it'll bring me back and then it'll say it's been submitted. I'm going to close this and then it's pending over here. And so once it's done, I will then have swapped out that BNB for the cake. And as you can see over here, now that I have the 
cake, I can then go on to the next step. Now, if we take a look over here in my wallet, it will say I've got less BNB, but it doesn't show me that I've got cake here just because if this is a token and I'm going to have to add that in, but more or less, you can see that my balance is different now. So now that I've got the BNB and the cake, it's time to add it to the liquidity pool. So I'm going to go over here to pool, right? And then I need to add liquidity to it. So I'm going to click on add liquidity and then I'm going to click on here and type in cake. So then I want to add in my max amount of cake. And so then I will need to approve it. Initially, when you first start, you will need to approve this. So that's one of the transactions you will need to do as well. So I'll click on approve cake and then it'll show me the transaction and I'll say, yes, I am going to allow this to happen. So I'm going to click on yes. And then after it will approve and it's pending right over here after it is pending, I will then be able to go on to the next step. Okay. Now that it's done, we, it's been approved. Now I have to also approve cake. So I'm going to, oh, I'm going to click over here, approve cake. And I am going to confirm this over here. So click on that and it is all ready. It's, it's pending going to after it is pending, I am going to click on supply. So right now it's pending. Okay, now it's been approved. Now I'm going to click on supply over here. So I'll click on supply. And it's saying that this is my breakdown of my BNB slash cake pool tokens. So I'm going to click on confirm supply, it's going to ask me to confirm it on MetaMask again. And I'm going to yes, click on confirm and say I'm okay with this. So yes, let's do it. So confirmed. There we go. It's now been submitted. And then there we go. So right now it is pending. And then once it's pending, we just have a couple of more steps. Okay, so now it's done over here. As you can see, this is the transaction. And this is my position in the amount that I've added into the liquidity pool. Now there's just a couple of things left. Like I said, what you then need to do is go to farm, click over here on farm, and then you will then need to select cake dash BNB flip. So what essentially you've gotten by adding your BNB slash cake is you've gotten these flip tokens. So you then need to add that in and I'm going to have to approve that. So click on approve cake dash BNB flip. It'll bring you to a new page where you have to confirm just like this. And then I'm going to say yes, confirm. There we go. And it's going to then show up here that I can do it in a second. Okay. So now that you can see over here, this here has this sort of plus sign. I'm going to click on that, right? And then I'm going to put in the maximum amount that I want to quote unquote, I guess, stake or yield farm and then click on confirm. And then it's going to ask me to confirm the transaction and I will confirm that. And then that is the last step. That is pretty much all that you need to do right here. So, and then once it's done, it's all over there. And then you can always just kind of check your balance just as it says right over here. And then you can see how much cake you earn in any given moment. So that's, you can check this all out here, but yeah, so this is pretty much how you can yield farm all on pancake swap. They have other sort of features, but that's how I yield farm on pancake swap. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below because I do check and I do respond. If you think that there's someone who'll get some value out of this video, please share it with them. And if you're interested in receiving notifications on my future videos, then hit that subscribe button. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.